Hi there, Dan from onlinebasecourses.com. Hope you're doing well. This is the fifth baseline. I'm doing a little mini series on how to write baselines. I've done a pop one, a reggae one, a hip hop, and a rock baseline. So today I'm going to do a 12 8 based on Stevie Wonder kind of style. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for the rest of the, of the series, but also all the other weekly bass lessons. I do at least one a week on all kinds of things, and you can let me know in the comments what you want me to do next as well. But today, 12-8 Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Honestly, I can play that one all day and never get bored with it. There's something about 12-8 feel, it just sounds so cool. So don't forget you can download that drum beat, I'll put a link below and it'll go for five minutes. So you can do just that, you can just play, loop it around, just go forever. So a few of the things that was going on there. So we've got E minor. So first thing. I'm thinking of that every single time. I've got that going in my head. rhythm. Dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. If you listen to what the kick drum's doing, that's a classic thing. Listen to what the drum... The drums are always going to help you. You're part of the rhythm section. So learning to play with a drummer and lock in with a drummer is one of the most important things that you can ever do as a bass player. Just keep things simple but lock in. So I was feeling that. I'm just going E to G, third fret, third fret. Uh, third fret E string, the G, third fret A string is the C. Know your notes. You can expand it to octaves. When I was doing melodic things like that, it's just all. All of that is just notes from our key, which is E minor, G major. Now I'm saying those as the same, they're the same thing. I mean, this is quite a minor, I've gone to the, the natural minor here, so the E minor. So I'm kind of thinking E minor, but the E natural minor and G major are exactly the same notes. So it really is worth you knowing what relative majors and minors mean for this reason, okay? But I'm just using those notes, no other notes. Start from a high, a higher E going down to a G. You can start from the low. The choice is yours, and you should learn to read chord progressions because the great thing about that is you're not restricted. Yes, of course you can write a bass line for a song that you're playing in a band or or what have you, and that's great. But you can also have freedom to 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 interpret it your own way. That's why chord charts are, are really cool. And um, there was a fill I was doing there. That's something you definitely want to get used to doing this. Put fills in the correct place. Correct meaning when the singer and the drummer, the guitarist are not playing a fill. You know, don't, you know, sometimes you don't know, but, but as a bass player, it's really your job to, to use your ears and to make everyone else feel comfortable. So don't overplay. But when you're practicing, a good place to put fills is kind of at the end of the, of the phrase. So here over that A minor, the fourth bar. So maybe I wouldn't put one there I'll go around again now all I was doing there was E minor pentatonic make sure you know that pattern not just in maybe the the traditional you know first place down there like if you want to be going hammer-ons, pull-off slides, that kind of thing. You're going to need to, to sort of go across this way, across the neck, and that's going to involve you breaking out of those box shapes. There are, there are five pentatonic shapes if you go across, but I, I would recommend that you think of the entire fretboard as just one location, and that you'll have shapes across one string, two string shapes, you know. 
let me just show you that pattern actually it's really it's a really good one so we're going to think g major pentatonic here start on the third fret of the e string and go frets three five and seven i'm going fingers one three and then jumping across uh, to seven with the same third finger because then i can go fret five and seven on the a string how many notes is that one two three four five that's G major pentatonic. And then if I go to the fifth fret of the D string, exactly that same pattern. I now have starting on the third fret, ending up on the ninth fret, I've got loads of notes. And because it's crossing this direction, I can do slidey stuff and slidey stuff sounds great. Um, G major pentatonic contains exactly the same notes as E minor. That's why it fits. Can just get really funky with this you've got to check out i mean it's not just stevie wonder he doesn't have the monopoly on the 12 8 time signature but he's written loads of songs i'll put a list that you can check out and that's one of the key points in this series is to listen 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 to as many different styles as you can work out those bass lines by ear i'm being analytical here you know i'm telling you this is the note here this that you play this is the rhythm don't worry about any of that for now just Really try and play a bass line, listen to it, work it out by ear, watch my channel, subscribe, and I'll teach you how to, you know, listen to all this stuff, how to analyze it. Because when you can combine the two, have a good ear, have good groove and know what's going on, that's really when the magic happens. So I hope you enjoyed that video and make sure you subscribe for the next ones in the series. Cheers. See you then.